The Archangel's Way runs 38 miles round the north of Dartmoor. The route begins at the iconic 12th century church of St Michael de Roop, which stands high on Brent Tor, and ends at St Michael the Archangel in the market town of Chagford. Hello, welcome to another video. I'm out, it's, it's Storm, it's Storm Kathleen and we're doing the Archangel's Way. I think it's about a 40 mile trek, but we're gonna do, take it easy, take in some scenery and maybe do 10 miles a day over four days. And I'm here with Fern and Fern's brother, Kip, and Fern's brother's partner, Daphne. It's gonna be a wet one. B, we can do the first leg and get the second leg. Taxi. Oh, it's rough, isn't it? Oh. Let's have a look in. What? It's actually lit. It's actually like... It's really cute, isn't good. it? Good. You'd think it'd be all abandoned and unused. Like, let's sleep here. <laughs> I don't think they mind. I mean, we have only walked 10 minutes, so... <laughs> 10 minutes? That was two minutes. What? <laughs> when we stumble, hold us. When we fall, lift us up. When we are hard pressed with evil, deliver us. Wow. And I believe in here it's going to be a pilgrim's stand. Oh, that's it. No way. Yes. And here is the stamp. <gasps> right, yes. that's cool. Where are the paper? I'll get the paper out. Yeah, get the passport. It's the big stamp in. What? Yeah! I'm saying my golden room. Wow. Do you lay her in? I've got no room in my bag for this. It's a nice hat. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's what is it? What make is it? It's think? Tilly's and we went fly fishing oh, once this year, so I decided I needed one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You wouldn't think it'd be so Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh. It's like a pilgrimage, it's what you get a lot of them down south. You do like a pilgrimage um, and you stop off at like the holy places like this is and you get a stamp in your little booklet. And so that's what we've just done. Got our first stamp. And we've got quite a big day today and we've set off late because of timings. And there she is, timings outdoors. <laughs> and we're gonna head off into this. It's a bit thick with, uh, with fog at the moment. We're hoping it'll change over the next couple of days, but we've got Storm Kathleen to contend with and uh, <laughs> it's gonna be up and down and all over the place. But look, it's beautiful. There's hills down south. A quick thank you to today's sponsor, Wine52. And the good people at Wine52 are offering you a free case of wine. All you need to do is go to www.wine52, that's 52 the numbers, dot com forward slash wine haze. Pay the post and packaging, which is 9 95 and you'll receive three bottles of wine to your door and your snacks and your copy of the Glug magazine. I actually love being a member of Wine52 because they send me the wine every month and every month we're going to a different region this month we're going to italy whereabouts in italy i'll tell you if you'll be quiet veneto this is the enigma the red one very summery and the sun has been shining today although you wouldn't know it let's have a go then oof that's actually delicious. An easy drinker. I'm getting cherry. I'm getting summer. What would it be good with, you ask? 
beans on cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Steak, meats. It'd be great with meat and cheese. <laughs> I'd have it with meat and cheese. You can get white only, you can get red only, or you can get a mixed case. After your free case, you'll be joined up to a monthly wine club, which you can cancel at any time. So if it's not for you, that's what you can do, but I'm sure you'll love it. So it's www.wine52.com forward slash wine haze, and you just pay $9.95 post and packaging, and you can get your free case of wine just like I did. Now back to the video. Yeah. It's a classic. It's a classic, we've seen many of these. Actually, that was nice. Oh, see, you're shaming it, but from an amateur's point of view, because if you look here, you don't often get the old square, <laughs> the, the square ring pull, so that gives it a little bit of somewhere else. But what's the square doing? It's just so put your finger in and lift it up. Oh, I see. Okay. It's just a different mechanism. I'll get this. And good acoustics. I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, fit check. <laughs> I thought, oh no, right. You, no, no, just fit. Confirm. <laughs> Mountain warehouse. Um, it is Mountain Warehouse, but so far I am dry. Because it hasn't really been raining, but so this is Mountain <laughs> Warehouse. Fern's just act, forgot all her stuff pretty much and had to go and buy new stuff. I didn't forget it, there was a miscommunication between me and my brother. Yeah. I thought that a, a parcel had been delivered to his house. The parcel was going to be full of stuff. Kit. Yeah. I had new waterproof trousers, a new waterproof coat. Kip was like, yeah, the parcel's been delivered, but it turned out it was a different parcel. Uh, so. I actually just had nothing. Are you making me go through this? Button? Yeah, so we don't have to listen to this parcel story because it's boring us out. Is it 40 miles Good morning. Hiya. Look at that. It's very English. For all of you lot that don't live in England or aren't English, basically. Look, red telephone boxes do exist. And it's actually got a phone in it. These days they're reserved for, sometimes they have defibrillators in them. Sometimes like little mini, uh, I've seen them with mini sort of libraries in them. And then if you're in a city, just covered in piss. So, depends where you are. Here we go. There's a dog bowl outside the church, which I have drunk out of before on the coast to coast. For anyone who's interested in that, so my visit. Oh, it's probably not. Not as lovely as I'm sorry. Christchurch, North, Brentor. Hallelujah. Oh, they're different colours. Woo! That's a good one. This is like a computer game. This <laughs> is. We've just unlocked an achievement and we've unlocked this new church, which is a lot bigger. Some would say better than the other one. I like the other one because it was a little bit more underrated. Wow, these blankets are like fleece. We could stay here. Yeah, for is it for sure. people to sleep here? Like, probably not. Definitely not. What is it for? Old people. <laughs> it's put on their legs. Filming in case anyone stacked it. And then I'll go around this way. Oh, it is wet, isn't it? Uh -huh. Made a mistake. Whoa. Oh, yeah, soaking. Are yours? No, mine is dry. So far. Okay. <laughs> well, dry slodge. Yeah, but Hazel Dean. Hazel Dean outdoors. <laughs> there you have it.
And one of these. It's a good stuff. Ooh. That's a good one. I'm sweating around the belt Let's go. Yeah. Oh, is this the church? Yes. All right, I'll do it. All right. Yeah, could you? The signing. The signing of the stamp. Which is more how they do it on the Camino, isn't it? <laughs> Are you a part of the church? I'm the vicar. Oh, you're the vicar. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Thanks go. ever so much, mate. Nice Signed one. That's the really vicar. good. The vicar, the big V has signed our thing. Other than, rather than us using a stamp, the big man has signed it. So, wonderful stuff. And there we have day one in the bag. This is the route we took starting at the little church on the hill. I am not going to research all the names of the churches from here. I can't remember them all. And if I'm honest, we'll see this as the video progresses, is <laughs> my enthusiasm for filming and uh, showing you all the churches dwindles pretty fast. You can see me, you can see the drop off, but we're starting strong. And we had a wonderful day. The whole trip was amazing, but the first day was wonderful. And there's day one. Here we are, day two. So yesterday we walked quite late and then Storm Kathleen took over. There were alarms going off on vans, things getting blown over. It was wild. And Daphne and Kip, which is Fern's brother and his partner, They'd never done any wild camping before, and we only had the big Agnes three person, which I know isn't great in wind, so we bit the bullet and we stayed in a travel lodge last night just for safety. Just for safety. Oh no, we stayed in a spoons actually. Yeah, because you booked the travel lodge for May. She, yeah, because I'd booked a travel lodge. In fact, I booked two travel lodges for May by accident. So me and Fern had to stay in a spoons. This it was is, really nice though. It was really nice though. It, it was, was actually nice. It was one of the best beds I think I've ever slept in. <laughs> well done spoons. Well done spoons. <laughs> spoons, 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 spoons. So we're up bright and early. We're going to meet up with Kip and Daphne. We're rendezvousing at Oakham Castle, which I'll let you have a little look around. Uh, sorry if there's not a lot of banter on this one. It's just real. It's really difficult to film when there's a lot of people. Like there's four of us and there's a lot of talking and stuff. I'm gonna bring you as much scenery as I can. I will maybe do voiceovers, but I didn't want to not film it because it's a really nice hike and for those people that fancy something like this, it's a good little it's a good little different, like you don't have to be up in the mountains wrecking yourself. You can just do a nice little pilgrimage and take in some history and you don't have to be religious for it, it's just a nice experience. So, we're enjoying it, aren't we? I think it's lovely. It's lovely! <laughs> I love the stamps, my favourite bit is the stamps. The stamps, and us getting the vicar to stamp it oh, was legit. Because it, it feels like a treasure hunt, or like when you go to a, uh, what is it, like an escape rooms, and you've got to like collect all of the yeah. bits. It does, does feel like that. Or Whitby Regatta when you get your little number in your uh, pamphlet and you've got to go around all the shops looking for it and then you win a prize. It's and I won nice. something in the DIY shop when I was eight but I didn't want a hammer or anything so I got five pounds from the till. Well done, yay! And there's a lot of naughty, <laughs> naughty plants. <laughs> they might bring you some foraging and stuff later as well. Talk about some plants. You're like, you're lucky, lucky boy. You're lucky, aren't you? This, this is a plant. This is a plant. <laughs> okay, to the castle. Here we are at Oakham Town. What is it? Oakhampton. Oakhampton. Oakhampton Castle. Oakhampton Castle. Or castle, if you're these lot. From the 12th century, the owners of Oakhampton Castle used it principally as a hunting lodge. The surrounding estates, filled with deer and wild boar, offered some of the best hunting grounds in Devon. 
the Great Hall. And I don't know what all these little holes are. Is it for ventilation? Is it where the timber used to go? There would have been a huge fire in here somewhere. It looks like they're too cheap. I'm just guesswork. Why don't I have a look at this picture? It'll just tell me, won't it? There it is, look. The Great Hall. Clearly never been to Spoons. It's cute though, look, with the little flowing river by the side of it. So you would have had fresh flowing water. You get a wild Atlantic salmon in that river, so it's good times. Imagine just being in here, just eating salmon, foraging in these woods, dying at 30 years old because your teeth are mullered or you've got gout. This is a lovely little bit, a lovely little stretch. And you can see it's flowing pretty fast. It came down quite a lot yesterday. So if there is any little bits, little pools or anything, I'm gonna go in, have a little bit of a swim. These are rather splendid and I've seen a kingfisher, which is good as well. Always a bonus to see a KF. Look at that little cave, mate. Looks natural, but it could be a mine. There's oh. a nice bit here. <laughs> I didn't mean to shout at you there quite far back. <laughs> Just been for a swim, look how red my skin is. It's freezing. I wasn't gonna film everything because everyone's like getting ready and there's other people here, so it's not fair, but we've just been in there for a swim and it was <laughs> Baltic, mate, Baltic, but feeling good for it. Well, I've left them down by the river. I was ready first, so I've scooted up here and I'm gonna get a coffee on, boil some water, so people can have a hot drink warm the old hands up because that is cold <laughs> cold in there the extremity series of gloves from terra nova really good especially if you suffer from uh, wacky digits like me what it is is i've come on this uh, hike with fern and kip and daphne and it's a uh, a good practice hike as well oh yeah <laughs> for uh i just got caught waffling to the camera there that's fine it's a really good practice hike this just to sort of not so much for my legs but for my kit just to see I've, I've, I've changed a few bits and pieces and there's a couple of things that i'd forgotten on this trip that if i forget it on my next big solo trip would be a game changer i have to make a checklist mate because my brain doesn't work properly Let's get a warm water on. I'll try and put a link for most things I use below, but oftentimes I forget, mate, or uh, CBA. Yep, yeah. We've had it all. We've had Storm Kathleen. We've had flashes of sunshine. He's chucked it all at us. We're wild camping tonight, so we'll have to find somewhere relatively sheltered. Not a bad place to have a brew. So Daphne has made us dehydrated spaghetti bolognese pouches. Spag bags. Woo! AKA the spag bags. Hey! The thing is, I don't think like an under the chin hat strap will ever be a cool thing we're not here to be cool look <laughs> at us for anyone who doesn't know they have a little face let's slow, slow down there you go oh. in the side of each hat there's a little face and there he is look face and they have a secret pocket and a secret pocket not underneath. on the top under first impressions are i like it oh ooh, guys 
I find this this church like is a bit more creepy. I know, I kind of know what you mean. Yay! Yay. <laughs> In the sickle pie. So we stopped after the last church at a pub, just had a pint, and now we're making our way to the next church. But we think it's a bit late; it'd probably be shut now. But I'm not doing much filming. I started off strong, thinking I want to make a, a full hiking video, but I'm with uh, when you're with three other people, it's just it's not. It just I don't want to be that guy, mate. I don't want to be like ew filming everyone and not being in the moment so I'm doing that and just filming when and where I can. Day two saw the weather change dramatically. We had some sunshine and for this bit, which is probably my favourite bit of the whole hike, we walked up this beautiful river, managed to get a swim, got the stove going, ate some food and big up Daphne for making all our meals. We had spag bowls, there was, she had two different types of meals, overnight oats, she really looked after us and it was much appreciated. We ticked off a few more churches, then we realised we'd forgot tent pegs, so we had to bushcraft some up and we found a lovely little field and bedded down in our tents for the evening. I can't really walk. No, she can't walk. Morning, day three. We were in, Big Agnes. Copper spur, HL, UV something to do to do, do do, three, which is the bike version of the two man thing I had. It has webbing up here to attach your clothes to dry it out. And it even has a place to put your bike helmet down at the bottom, two doors. It's really lightweight, it's a three man, but I'm just carrying it on my own. And it's pretty lightweight. They're in the Terra Nova Helm 3, which you'll have seen me do a review of any part in a storm and it is gonna get stormy today so we we'll better get the tents packed up now look at the sundial on the on the side of the thing wow. haunting Hallelujah. south taunton that's where we are south taunton church Yeah. Hey. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Full bog foot. Bog it didn't go on my it didn't go on my shot. It's just been raining. Weather's been terrible, so not been doing much filming, but uh, we've just come through this bog, everyone's got boggy. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe it used to be like Joey D. Mm -hmm. yeah, that looks just like two mad little kids like nibbling at this bloke, which is a bit mad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'll meet you in pub. Right, another decent church. As we were leaving, I think it must have been... Medic! It must have been Vicar had come and said, oh, we're making cups of tea in 10 minutes. Does he want you to stick around and have a cup of tea in 10 minutes, do some church activities, to whatever. Not my bag. I've been in there for a while and I can only take so much of a church, mate. I can, I get it and I like it and I appreciate the, the work that's gone into it, but I'm off to the pub <laughs> and I'll get myself a Guinness.
It's quite light, it's quite airy. Ooh. Good the Holy Trinity in Gidley. Ooh. I would like to show you this, our penultimate church. Got <laughs> the, the final church, yeah. Final church, Arden. How do you feel about it? Amazing. I feel like I've ascended. We've ascended. Yeah. And this is where we've finished. Uh, we're going to go in and get our final stamp. We're all uh, battered and tired. <laughs> we're going to get our final stamp and then go for a pub lunch. Going to go, well, pub tea, get a bit of food, get a drink. I'll take you in here, we'll watch the final stamp and then I'll see you later. Where is the Finishing on a massive one, look at that. Okay. It's nice. It's very, very nice. It feels good. It's no. warm as well. I can't believe it. What, they don't have a stamp? The, the, the stamp's the ink is missing. What? And there you have it. They didn't have any ink in the final church. So Daphne drew on the stamp with a biro and we stamped it with that high fives all around and we went to the pub for a meal and some well earned pints. I would recommend the Archangel's Way. You don't have to be religious, I'm not religious, but I found it at times very profound just following in the footsteps of people who had done it before and taking in the churches and the history and the architecture it's somewhat a bit different and collecting the stamps is just a little fun thing to do as you're going along. Fully recommend it. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.